Ni hao or hello, it's me, Miss Olivia, and welcome back to another edition of Miss Olivia Reads. Today's book is being brought to you in celebration of Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year is celebrated throughout the world with grand celebrations. Now, animals are very important in Chinese culture and for Chinese New Year. Every year, one out of 12 animals is represented. Today's book is gonna to talk to us a little bit about each of those animals. Our book is called Ruby's Chinese New Year. Are you guys ready to get reading? Me too. Ruby's Chinese New Year, written by Vicki Lee, illustrated by Joey Cho. Every year, Ruby's grandmother came to visit for Chinese New Year. Together, they celebrated eating special foods and making drawings for good luck. But this year, grandmother was unable to travel. She would miss spending the holiday with Ruby. And so, Ruby made a decision. If grandmother could not come to Ruby, Ruby would go to grandmother. Ruby drew the most beautiful picture of her family, seated around the table full of noodles, dumplings, fish, vegetables, and holiday sweets, a gift for grandmother. She folded the red paper, tucked it into a red envelope, and slipped it into her pocket. Then she set off. Not far down the path, Ruby spied Cat and Rat. Hello, Cat and Rat. I'm taking a gift for Chinese New Year to my grandmother. Would you like to come along? Yes, of course, said Cat. But how will we cross the meadow and the pond? Let's ask Ox, said Rat. She's so strong and dependable. And so Cat and Rat and Ruby continued on their way. Ox was walking along the path to the farmer's house. On her back, she carried packages of rice cakes and candies, sweet treats for the new year. Hello, Ox, called Cat and Rat. We are taking a gift for Chinese New Year to Grandmother. Would you like to come along? I would be happy to, said Ox. Climb on my back. We will make the journey together. And so, Ox, Cat, and Rat, and Ruby continued on their way. Before the group had taken two steps, Tiger and Rabbit bounded out of the bushes, streamers flying behind them. Hello, Tiger. Hello, Rabbit, said Ox. We are taking a gift for Chinese New Year to Grandmother. Would you like to come along? Oh, yes, that sounds fun, said Tiger and Rabbit in unison. And so, Cat took a seat on Tiger's powerful back and Rat perched between Rabbit's soft, friendly ears. Together, Tiger and Rabbit, Ox, Cat, and Rat, and Ruby continued on their way. They soon passed Dragon and Snake, who were making paper lanterns. Hello, friends. Where are you off to? asked Snake. We are taking gifts to Grandmother, said Tiger. Would you like to come along? Of course I would. Snake loved Grandmother and was happy to visit her. We will bring the lanterns, said Snake. Will you come too, Dragon? asked Rabbit. Of course, said Dragon, who was always ready for an adventure. So Dragon and Snake, Tiger and Rabbit, Ox, Cat, Rat, and Ruby continued on their way. As they walked along, Ruby saw horse and goat grazing in the meadow. Hello, said Dragon and Snake. We are taking a gift to Grandmother. Would you like to come along? Yes, said horse and goat together. First, they gathered flowers from the meadow. Then horse and goat, Dragon and Snake, Tiger and Rabbit, Ox, Cat and Rat, and Ruby continued on their way. After a short while, horse and goat, dragon and snake, tiger and rabbit, ox, cat and rat, and ruby reached the pond where monkey and rooster were catching fish for the holiday feast. And through the shrubs, just on the other side, 
Ruby could see grandmother's house. With a leap and a bound, Ruby dove into the pond. She would swim to grandmother's. She was so close. Ruby and her animal friends are looking pretty worried and scared. What do you guys think happened? When Ruby finally reached the other side of the pond, Monkey and Rooster, Horse and Goat, Dragon and Snake, Tiger and Rabbit, Ox and Cat and Rat were waiting with her card for Grandmother. Oh no, cried Ruby. It's ruined. Everything is ruined. It's not ruined, crowed Rooster. We have fish, said Monkey, and flowers said horse and goat. We have lanterns, said dragon and snake, and streamers, added tiger and rabbit. We have rice cakes and sweets, said ox, and we have our family, said cat and rat, looking towards the house. As monkey and rooster, horse and goat, dragon and snake, tiger and rabbit, ox, Cat and Rat and Ruby turned to look. Dog and Pig came racing out to greet them. They covered Ruby's face with kisses and tickled her until she shrieked with joy. And then the door opened. And Grandmother appeared. Ruby, what a wonderful surprise, said Grandmother. I brought you a gift for Chinese New Year, said Ruby, but it's wet and ruined. Don't worry, said Grandmother. It will dry, and seeing you and your friends today is the best gift of all. Together, dog and pig, monkey and rooster, horse and goat, dragon and snake, Tiger and Rabbit, Ox, Rat, Ruby, and Grandmother laid out their table. Everyone was ready to celebrate Chinese New Year, except for Cat, who had fallen fast asleep. Friends, this book was absolutely incredible. The first reason I really like this book is because Ruby welcomed help from these animals that later became her friends. The second reason I really like this book is because it gave us so much information about these 12 animals and how they were helpful to her and important to Chinese culture. I hope the next time you see one of these animals walking down the street or at the zoo, or maybe even at a farm, you think about this book and how clever and helpful animals can be. My name is Miss Olivia. This is Miss Olivia Reads, and I cannot wait to see you guys for another reading adventure. Bye, friends.